Well, I, I appreciate on behalf of the uh, entire audience those inspiring comments uh, and echo your sentiment about uh, the relationship between the two countries and the significance of the effort to uh, work together in a cooperative fashion to deal with uh, uh, the situation that developed uh, in Sichuan province. Without further ado, uh, most of the, uh, I, I gather all the bios of the panelists are in your book, so I'm going to dispense with lengthy uh, introductions, uh, but I am going to go down in the order that they, they appear from my left uh, to uh, the end. So the first up is Carolyn Brem. Carolyn is an old friend, uh, someone I first met when, um, in, when she was living in China, working for um, a different company, uh, but she is Vice President of Global Government Relations at Procter & Gamble a company that has had an enormous uh, interest in the market, but also has played an enormous uh, role in, in the area of CSR. So, Carolyn, we welcome your comments today. Thank you. Thank you, Myron, for the opportunity to um, share p and G's story with this group. Um, a little bit of background. p and G is actually celebrating our 20th anniversary in China this year. Um, we have grown from an initial investment in Guangzhou in 1988 uh, to become the largest consumer products company in China. We both manufacture and sell a wide range of consumer products uh, in the areas of beauty, laundry, diapers, shaving, and family health care products. Uh, we have a, an employee base of uh, close to 7,000 uh, employees, 98 of whom, 98 percent of whom are uh, Chinese nationals. Um, our philosophy has always been to give back to the local communities where we operate, and clearly China is no exception. Uh, our flagship CSR program globally is a program called Live, Learn, and Thrive, which is focused on the education, health, and well-being of children from birth to the age of 12. Uh, P&G China has channeled um, this uh, um, priority into a long-time support for building schools in rural villages in partnership with an organization called Project Hope. And this is not to be confused with the international NGO, which is also a great organization, uh, Project Hope, as many of us may know it. Uh, China's Project Hope is a nonprofit organization under the umbrella of the China Youth Development Foundation, which is affiliated with the Communist Youth League. Uh, in the immediate uh, aftermath of the um, horrible Sichuan earthquake, um, P&G responded immediately. Sichuan is in P&G's backyard. We have um, 230 employees living in the greater Chengdu area, uh, uh, employed at a laundry plant and a uh, regional sales team along with a distribution center. Um, um, our families uh, living in that area were badly shaken. Uh, there was minor damage to our facilities in Chengdu. Fortunately, no one in the P&G family was killed. Uh, within 24 hours, P&G China responded with the first cash donation and then followed over a period of about 10 days with another series of cash and product donations to the affected areas. Um, a, a global fund was established so that employees around the world at P&G could donate to the company and the company matched those donations. Uh, currently, our uh, total uh, contribution towards the earthquake effort is 7.7 uh, .7 million U.S., about 53 million renminbi in both cash and product. Of that, about 10 million renminbi, or roughly 1.5 million U.S., was dedicated to a, an education effort in uh, conjunction with Project HOPE, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Our, um, our CEO um, uh, was engaged quickly in the process and uh, what responded to the White House invitation to join the, the private-public partnership that was set up. Uh, he joined a, a group of 13 CEOs and heads of U.S. NGOs and was one of the uh, CEOs who was able to travel to China with USAID Administrator Henrietta Four um, and uh, to actually uh, visit the uh, epicenter of the earthquake and to hold meetings with Chinese officials in Sichuan and Beijing. Um, it, it was just unspeakable. I, I can't describe the experience of actually witnessing firsthand the devastation and also the um, uh, first accounts from some of the survivors, particularly the children. There was one uh, uh, photograph in the clip with a, a little girl with a megaphone who we met outside the school. Um, she survived. Her 
the older brother was crushed inside during, um, a, a, he was punished uh, for something and was inside doing homework. But it was just one of those experiences one will never forget. Um, we, um, after uh, having an opportunity to hear firsthand from the Chinese officials what were some of the uh, immediate needs and uh, plans for reconstruction, uh, we immediately decided we would focus in the area of education. And this is really given our historical um, connection with building schools in China with Project HOPE. Um, and uh, also felt that um, clearly it was one of the top needs that was identified in all the discussions we had. We also heard very clearly throughout the, the three days of meetings the uh, repeated need for job creation and additional investment in uh, Sichuan province. Uh, and that's also something that has been factoring into our uh, planning process. Um, since late June, uh, P&G has um, actually partnered with Project HOPE to uh, build four mobile HOPE schools in uh, the earthquake affected areas of Sichuan. These are actually prefabricated buildings that we've helped to fund. Um, these are um, helping more than 5,000 students um, get back to their studies. Uh, we've also partnered with HP China, Hewlett Packard China, to build computer classrooms for 20 existing Project HOPE schools in Sichuan, Gansu, and Shanxi, uh, including those four mobile schools that we've opened since the end of June. Um, also, um, we're partnering with the China Youth Development Federation, or Foundation rather, to support psychological counseling programs in the 10 mobile schools in the Sichuan um, area. Um, and uh, uh, that's potentially touching over 10,000 students and teachers. Um, we've also got future plans to build uh, hand washing facilities at these schools uh, for uh, um, improving the sanitary conditions there and deploying some safety and health campaigns um, in those schools. In addition, we formed a, a small team of our Chinese employees based uh, throughout the country. Uh, and they've gotten together to have an internal brainstorming session um, and, and planning for other future projects that we could do. And while these proposals are still in progress, um, they include such ideas, I think some really exciting ideas, such as um, startup loans and training for women entrepreneurs in the earthquake affected area so that they could actually um, set up kiosks, small stores to sell daily products, including P&G products um, in the earthquake affected area, both creating new jobs and uh, teaching skills in um, s you know, sales and distribution. Um, so uh, that's, that's a work in progress. Uh, we're also looking at opportunities to engage more of our uh, bigger Chinese network, our Chinese and foreign retailers, which we have close relations with around the country, suppliers in China, and contractors, uh, many of whom have already signaled that they very much want to help with uh, both volunteers, with um, uh, cash infusions, and help in other ways in in-kind uh, in product as we get these projects off the ground. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn.